Hello, welcome to SS Unitex so see this side and this is continuation of GCP tutorial. So this is part 3 of GCP tutorial. So before going forward, if you haven't watched the last video of this video series, so I would strongly recommend to watch that video where we have seen how we can create the GCP free account. So today we are going to see what is the resource hierarchy. So this is very important to understand what is the resource hierarchy. So how resources are organized inside the GCP that we'll see in this video. So here we are having separate separate layers by which all these resources will be organized. So the first layer that is the organization. So this is the company and the second layer which is coming under the folders. So you can assume like we are having a company and under the company we are having multiple departments. So the second thing that will be departments. The third part under the department we are having different different teams so next under the folders we can see we are having the teams so the team is the part of your department so this hierarchy is starting from the top which is the company so the, that is the first layer the second layer that is the department under the department we have the teams and under the team we are having the product so here as you can see we are having like department a and department b and under that we have team A and team B. Under team B we are having product 1 and product 2. Under that we are having the actual projects. So the project that could be your development phase or test or production. So whatever it is. So this is coming under the product. And the last where actual your resources will be organized. And your resources could be your compute engine or it may be your cloud storage or it may be any service so that is the actual resource so this resource is coming like this so this is the complete hierarchy you can see let me recap so first we are having the company so any organization is there next we are having the folder so this folder section is coming like if we want to create any organization like SS Unitech under that we are having something like Susil and under Susil we just want to create the project so this Susil is coming as a folders here. So for simplicity and for the Google documentation, it is mentioned like a folder and under the folders we are having department. Under department we have team. Under team we are having the product. So this hierarchy could be a level hierarchy. You can create many folders there and then you can create your actual project. So actual project may be your development project or it may be your test it may be your production so whatever is the project you can simply create under that layer and the last where the actual resource will be created so that is the last layer so here we'll be going to create the resource and all these hierarchy will be following so what is the key benefit for creating this hierarchy inside the gcp let's assume i am an employee and i am creating all these structure so if i am going to leave the organization so this hierarchy should not be deleted so this will be going to manage on, on those scenarios. So it will be helpful. One thing that you have to see in future, like your free account will not be having option for organization and folder. So these two options will not be available there. Only the project and under the projects, whatever the resources that will be creating, will see on the free account. If you are using the free account, then only these two options will be there. So let me quickly go inside the Google documentation. So here I'll be going to provide the link of this in the description of this video. So you can go through on this link. So you can understand what is the resource hierarchy. And if you can see what is the benefit of this, then you can scroll downside and here you can see the benefit of having this organization resources. So within the organization resource, the project resource belongs to your organization instead of employee. So whatever you are creating that will be belongs to your organization. This means like your project resource is no longer deleted when the employee leaves the company. So I hope guys you have understood what is the organization hierarchy where the actual resources will be created and how things are following from top to bottom. And if you can go in the free account and let me quickly show you that part as well. So here I have already logged in with my credential in the last video. So here if you can go and you can check this. So here you can see like select the project and apart from the project you don't have any another option. So that's why I was telling like I am using the free account so we don't see the option for the organization 
and folders here you can create your new project as per your need so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos see you in the next video